before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to LOC Breezy. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Tsuki here, and oh my god guys, we have so many stories for today's video. So go take a piss really quickly, then come back, turn the air conditioning on, and get comfy, and let's get right into the juicy stuff, you know? Our first story is actually pretty crazy. Now this one is coming from 4-7-7-Susway. And yes, you guys heard that right. 4-7-7-Susway. Now first of all, if you guys don't know who 7-7-Susway is, well basically long story short, he is a Fortnite YouTuber of almost 100k subscribers. And also, when Susway first started this YouTube channel, it was all for jokes, he was just a meme you know. And as he started uploading more videos, he started to build a fan base. And also if you haven't noticed already, 7-7-Susway's branding is related to Faceway. Like he literally has Sway in his name, his profile picture is Faceway, and etc you know. And the rest is history. Unfortunately, this is the end of 77 Susway. A couple days ago, 77 Susway tweeted out saying, Left 77 Clan, I am rebranding and think it's best to start fresh. They did so much for me and it's hard to say goodbye. But all good things come to an end. Thank you everyone for everything. So yes guys, you heard it here first. Susway has left 77 Clan and he is rebranding. So what does that mean exactly? Well that basically means that he is changing his name. And me personally, I think it's a great thing. Susway couldn't really carry this farce for that long if he really wants to excel with all this YouTube stuff. Because if you don't know, Faceway actually wanted Susway's YouTube channel terminated. As you guys can see on the screen, Susway tweeted out saying, this is the dude who wanted my channel terminated. And he also posted a picture of Faceway. Then Faceway replied to him by saying, and that's the dude who made your career. And you're biting the hand that made your whole career. You should be thanking me. Just wait and you'll be crying in my DM on God. And you know what guys, you can't really blame Faceway for being annoyed because 77 Susway is making so much money and you know he's basically leeching off of Faceway so you can't really blame him you know. Susway also tweeted out saying, I know what name I'ma have for my rebrand but don't know what I should have in front or behind. If I was in a clan I'd have that in the front but I'm probably not gonna be in one so I'd have to put like dot 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 go crazy or something cause my name is kinda general. Any suggestions? So yeah guys, drop a comment down below right now and let me know what you think Susway's new name should be. But nonetheless, I think this is a great thing. It's good for his branding and YouTube career, and it's also good for Faceway, because then no one is leeching off of his name, you know. Our next topic is very, very interesting, guys. Now, this one is coming from Avade. Of course, it's coming from Avade, guys. It's not a Suki video if I don't talk about Avade, right? But anyways, as we already know, Avade is currently hosting a recruitment challenge. Well, it's not really an RC. It's more of a program, you know. But long story short, Avade is currently hosting something called the hashtag Avade Academy and in this program in the first stage anyone can go for this then in the second stage Avade is going to pick 50 people out of the hundreds of responses then those 50 people are gonna be narrowed down to five people which is gonna be stage three and then the remaining five get a chance to join Avade and they will also learn about the esports industry how it works the ins and outs and how to make gaming a career so on and so forth you know and yesterday guys Avade showed us the 50 people who made it into stage two as you guys can see on the screen and these are all the winners they are all very talented individuals now i'm gonna be honest i don't really know too many people on this list the only person i really know is key wayne and i'm also rooting for key wayne to win this if you guys don't know who he is well he is a streamer and he's very very enjoyable guys i'll just quickly show you guys a clip of him oh a cockroach it's a cockroach oh where to my gym? This a cockroach! Ah! Ah! So he is a very funny guy you know, and if you guys don't know, Key Wayne also has the Avade logo tattooed. And as you guys can see on the screen, this is 100% real. So yes guys, my money is on Key Wayne. I do enjoy watching him, he seems very dedicated to Avade you know. But let me know who you think's gonna win. Drop a comment below. Our next story is pretty crazy guys. This one is coming from the Obey Alliance, Phase Mew, and Obey Licks. Now just a little backstory on this, Obey is hosting a Fortnite RC right now. And today, three people ended up joining Obey 
Day, and the winners were picked by Lex and FaZe Mew. Firstly, FaZe Mew tweeted out saying, Bro, Obey Alliance wants me to personally pick up someone to their team as a streamer, who's been grinding hard for the hashtag Obey Fortnite RC, tag them right now. He then tweeted out saying, I would like to personally welcome and recruit Obey Bauer to the Obey Alliance. Known this man for a long time, and his work ethic is insane. He's always streaming and nothing but good vibes all around. Congrats brother, you deserve it. And then Lex, he ended up picking up Bailey to the team. So be sure to congratulate Bauer and Bailey on joining Obey. Handpicked by yours truly, Obey Lex and FaZe Mew. And I really like what Obey did here. This was unique and interesting. I would like to see more teams doing stuff like this. Maybe someone from Parallel can recruit someone to evade. Stuff like that you know, it keeps things interesting. Our next story is crazy. This one is coming from FaZe Clan. Now just a quick summary, FaZe was hosting a meetup in New York, FaZe Way was there, Banks, Rain, Apex, and so many other members. And let me tell you guys, this fan meetup was biblical. When I first saw this, I thought only a couple hundred people would show up, maybe a thousand at the most, but I was very, very wrong. Thousands upon thousands of people showed up. FaZe Ricky Banks, who is the overall leader and owner of FaZe Clan, tweeted out saying, This is effed. Thousands and thousands turned out. It looks like this for a solid 15 blocks. Unreal. Speechless. I effing love you guys more than you'll ever know. Literally the craziest meetup of all time. Police shut it down, I'm sorry. Peep everyone's socials. And just watch this video, guys. I don't know about you guys, but if I was standing there in front of that many people, I would literally, I don't even know guys. And speaking of the police, some of the police officers there were actually pretty cool. The official Face Clan Twitter tweeted out saying, New York Police Department are fam too. And they posted a video of the police officers taking a picture of Face Banks. So yeah guys, pretty biblical stuff right? And it just goes on to show how big Face really is. Absolutely biblical man. And speaking of biblical, on my last video, Yo Livid commented saying, I swear you always say biblical. I don't know if I just just me. So let me know what you guys think. Do I say biblical a lot? I personally think I don't, you know, but let me know, man. Just let me know, you know. Before we move on, I want to see who made it this far into the video. So if you are hearing this right now, comment down below right now and ask me a question. Literally anything, guys. And when I say anything, I literally mean anything. It can be as personal as you want. You can ask me how many times do I beat my meat in a day. Absolutely anything. I feel like you guys don't know me that much. So if you ever wanted to ask me something, feel free to do so. I love replying to you guys and you know i just want to see who's a real one and who actually watches my videos you know and i just want to give a shout out to a few more people so shout out to legit slayer blady hounds blanksy and gumdrop for watching my videos and being a part of the juicy gang but now back to the good stuff the next story is once again coming from evade and holy guys this one is pretty biblical in the last week or so quite a few people have been getting kicked from evade one of them being flakers he was a trick shotter for evade three designers were kicked and they are Nexon, Jewboy, and Delude. And the next person I don't think you guys are gonna be happy about, but Diaz also ended up getting kicked. He tweeted out saying, I'm unfortunately not an evade anymore as they kicked me out because they are looking for people that are actually grinding. I respect Hantao's decision. And by the way, guys, Hantao is the owner and overall leader of Evade. But anyways, because I wasn't really doing anything for the team and it was a matter of time, I hope the best for Evade, nothing but love. So damn guys, about five people have been dropped from evade in the last week and you know it is sad to see especially diaz and flakers they both have a lot of potential so maybe they can get back to grinding and hopefully join back evade in the near future and also if any evade members are watching this video it's kicking season guys i would be scared if i was you if you're in evade and you're not grinding you better get to it because hantao is not playing around but this is also a good thing guys this means evade is going to be picking up more people and filling those spots in so for all the grinders watching this video your motivation should be through the roof right now you know i mean like it is summer break if you are not grinding you are doing something wrong our last story is coming from ninja and he was actually hacked for a little bit he tweeted out saying instagram was hacked late last night i got it back already thank god it was a guy doing swipe up challenges and not some gang gang guy following all his friends and posting d pics yo what's going on guys Tatsuki here and i'm actually in my dad's car right now he's inside dairy queen right now and i'm just sitting in the car you know and i was just thinking right and i was like i still have to record some stuff on 
on this video, so I was like, I might as well do it right now. You know, that's how you know Suki is on the grind, recording a video in his dad's car. And I'm recording this part of the video on my phone, but anyways, as you guys can see on the screen, this guy tweeted out saying that Ninja's Instagram is hacked, and that he's giving away 1,000 iPhones, which he obviously isn't doing, but I'm sure if Ninja actually wanted to do that, he easily could, because you know, he is swimming in money, and using money as his toilet paper, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But nonetheless, Ninja got his Instagram back, so it's all good now. And it also goes to show that anyone can get hacked if Ninja got hacked. And he's like one of the biggest Fortnite streamers slash YouTubers, then anyone can get hacked. So make sure you have two-step verification on all your social media accounts to make sure you are safe. And yeah, guys, it wasn't anything serious. It's all good now. But that's all the news for today, guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.